Hello, my name's Andrew Keeping, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of this revolutionary new designed shotgun microphone. The company Comica asked me to do a thorough review of this new stereo shotgun microphone, and I have been very thorough in testing this out over the last couple of weeks. I've included timestamps in the video to be able to help you choose where you want to go and navigate your way around this video. If you want to find out what my overall opinion was, jump to the summary. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy testing this amazing piece of kit out. And really, does it live up to all the hype? Well, let's find out. This is the Comica TrackShot all-in-one shotgun microphone. It's a super cardioid, transformable, all-in-one shotgun mic. It allows multi-mode switching between various different stereo configurations. It has an innovative and very effective airflow shock absorbing design. IPS display, visual power and sound pickup modes. Stepless gain control to allow for real-time monitoring and it even includes a low cut filter as well on each one of the modes. It contains a built-in rechargeable lithium battery and supports USB-C interface to upgrade the system. The firmware can be downloaded from the Comica website. Internal windproof design effectively reduces the basic wind noise, but it also has the high density wind muff or dead cats. Now on a first viewing, I have to say, I think it looks really sleek. It looks robust and solid. It looks like nothing I've seen before, quite frankly. Um, I like the fact that it reminds me a little bit of the old transformers that used to clunk into position really solidly and however many times you used to push it around, it used to take everything. And this has that sort of feel about it. To install it with the camera, you install the track shot on the camera hot shoe mount through the cold shoe. Then Connect the track shot to the camera through the three and a half millimeter TRS to TRS, that's tip ring sleeve, audio cable. There are options also for you to be able to connect it to a mobile phone through a particular rig. I haven't actually tried this method, but I think having experimented with it for some time, it would be an option that I might consider in the future, but I would certainly recommend it to others. The on-screen display shows the symbol for the sound pickup mode. On the right hand side at the bottom you have the pickup mode itself, the battery level on the top right hand side and that works actually very very well because it gives you a good indication of just how much battery life you have left. One of the great advantages of this of course is that you can charge it from a portable charger via the USB-C port. An excellent addition here is the low cut filter also known as a high pass filter. Now the low cut filter is, as it says on the tin, it removes those low frequencies from an audio signal. Normally they're designed so that they remove frequencies below a certain determined frequency. So it would be, in this case, I think we're looking between 20 and 100 hertz. And those are the sort of rumbles that you get from distant car noise to stage um, movements and thumps, things like that. It's also really good to see here that you have the option to be able to turn it off as well. So you can either flatline it by keeping the finger pressed down on the on button and then to press it again and that will turn on the low cut filter. Now, of course, the great advantage of this and the thing that I was looking forward to trying out is the use of the stereo modes. When working in different stereo modes, what we first have to do is get the microphone one and the two tubes to correspond to the angle. They've given you a good indication on the top of the track shot itself, showing you the exact angles and they actually slot into place quite nicely with a bit of a click. So you have mono mode, which is where the two are directly facing forward. You have a 30 degree stereo mode, which gives you a bit more of a wide stereo angle of recording. Then you get the 90 degree angle, which gives you a much wider stereo field, ideal for concerts or multiple personalities on a stage at one time. It's great for being able to get an idea of movement as a sound comes from the right hand side through and then moves across the screen to the left hand side. This gives you a really good indication 
of your 360 degree soundscape in front of you. And of course, one of the great advantages of this piece of kit is the fact that you have a bi-directional mode. That's where you have one microphone facing forward and one microphone pointing behind. And this lends itself really well to podcasting or particularly, in my opinion, for interview techniques. This is a test of the microphone with a straightforward directional axis. We are at two and a half meters or eight foot away. This is a test of the microphone at six foot distance, directional, straight directional without the windsock on. This is a comparison test at six foot distance with the Rode microphone. This is a comparison at a six foot distance with the built-in Lumix GH5 microphone. This is a test of the microphone, straight forward, both straight pointing at the subject at a distance of four foot from the camera and it has windsock on the microphone. This is a comparison test with the Rode shotgun microphone at a four foot distance. This is a comparison test with the built-in microphone of the Lumix GH5 at a distance of four foot. This is a test of the microphone at a 30 degree angle without wind socks on and six feet away from the camera. This is a test of the microphone at a 30 degree angle, four foot from the lens with the wind socks on. This is a test of the microphone at 90 degree angle. It's six foot away from the camera without a windsock on. This is a test of the microphone with windsock on, four foot from the camera at a 90 degree angle. This is a test of the microphone bi-directional, so one facing forward, one behind, perfect for uh, interview technique, a distance from the camera of six foot away, nearly two meters away from the camera without windsock on and the behind the camera is about a foot away. One, one two, two three, three, four. And on your own? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is a test of the microphone, four foot from the camera and it has a windsock on. This is bi-directional so I'm going to count one, two, three, four and then Oscar's going to count one, two, three, four behind the camera. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so here's my summary. What are my thoughts and opinions? I love it. I think there is nothing quite like they're out there. It's compact, it fits on top of your camera, it doesn't weigh much. It has such versatility, which is its greatest asset. To be able to get a wider stereo image, if you like, in the audio image, and to be able to 
feel a sense of space around you, 360 degree space around you with the use of this, to be able to actually monitor the gain from the sound source itself is much better than having to dive into your camera and adjust the settings on there every time you want to do anything. That's also really good. The air cushion suspension mount is very, very good and very effective and you just want to go, it's brilliant. What else do I love? I love the fact that you could put this on top of a camera and be able to do a great microphone interview where one person's behind the camera and the other is in front of the camera. I see that as being a really, really good option here and I've not seen that before. There's nothing like this. Having the limitations of the existing shotgun microphones on top of your on top of your camera, it's it's I've always found that limiting. And so therefore, as an sound guy, I work in recordings and I for years with my record company, I've built up a microphone locker of some of the very best microphones out there. And I use those today. And does this replace that? No, it doesn't. However, would I be using this? Absolutely. And I tell you exactly where I'd be using this. I'd have this as my secondary source on top of the camera. I will have my other microphones that I will be using, but as my res reserve option, I will definitely be using this. And for that reason alone, at the price range, I say congratulations to Comica for producing something so sexy so practical and the sound quality is very good indeed. So well done Comica. I hope that's helped. If you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please do subscribe, click on that button. Uh, I'm here to help as much as I can. So please do ask some questions, jot it down there. In the meantime, take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you next time. All the best.